Hi and thank you for joining me today for my global creative tutorial project. Um, my name's Laura Mackey. <laughs> Excuse this. I wasn't going to actually do a um, face um, video of me but I've kind of got into the routine of doing it now when I do these. But it is, um, I'm in the UK and it is six o'clock in the morning. I've been awake since four. It's Christmas Eve. I can't sleep. Well, I've now woken up. It's now like Christmas Eve morning. Um, I can't sleep. I'm really behind. I haven't got my tutorial done ahead of time. Um, so, yeah, here I am in my PJs, my hoodie, um, bringing to you my global creative tutorial bundle. And I'm whispering a little bit, so I hope you can hear me because my family is still in bed. Um, Anyway, this month's tutorial, um, we are sharing everything about um, celebration, which I've got back here. I don't actually know where my um, mini catalog is, um, but I'm sharing. We're sharing um, celebration and um, the spring summer catalog with you. Um, I chose to use the um, two tone flora stamp set, um, which I love. Love it. Um, and the card I've created is. Hmm. Not in my sight. <laughs> oh, I, I can see it. Let me grab it. <laughs> so it is uh, this card. And then I've done a little bit um, on the inner too. So the colours I've used are Fresh Freesia, Orchid, Oasis and Pale Papaya. Um, ooh, with the Orchid Oasis card base. So really about the um, stamping. Um, and then I've coordinated it with the Sending Smiles stamp set. Because I love that Sending Smiles one. Um, it can really be teamed up with anything. So let me share with you how I made my card. Right. Um, so my card, so my card today um, is this one, as I've already shown you, but I just want to show you a really simple version that you can do where you stamp it all flat. And again, I think you'll agree it looks just as pretty as this one with the added, just a really simple, um, simple stamping really. This is the one I sort of experimented on, as you can see. <laughs> Um, but I think I could get away with layering that up. I don't think you'll see the underneath. So I'm going to keep that and use that. But yeah, just to show that you can do a really simple stamping version of this card. Or you can um, dress it up as I have here. Now I have pre-stamped and die cut ahead of time this sending um with you, um, sorry, I'm sending with you, sending um, sentiment, um, which I've then die cut with the um, sending smiles dies, so that is ready. I've got another Orchid Oasis card base, which I do need to just bone fold it, I haven't bone folded that. And then I've got two basic white layers, one for the front and one for the inner. Now I'm using C6, but depending on where you are, I would go with you um, your standard card base size, whatever that is. Um, I know in America you guys use inches, so your measurements are going to be slightly different to what I'm using. So let's go ahead and do some stamping. Let's stamp everything together. Now this stamp is a um, two-step stamp. Um, I've got everything set here so I can clean my stamps as I go. I've got my chamois just out of shot there. I think you might be able to see it. No, you can't. If I just think you have got everything here set. There you go, so you can see ready um, to go. So two-step stamping and I'm stamping the the detailed stamp first and then going in with the sort of the filler in stamp second. So I'm going to go one and then two and then I'm going to pop a one 
on my card inner. And then I'm just going to clean that stamp off and set it to one side. And then I'm going in with now the background, which we're going to stamp in second generation ink. So before I stamp it, I'm just going to stamp it on um, my sheet there, my bit of um, scrap paper. So it's, it's not too bad to line up. Um, not too bad at all. Um, I think it's, you know, like everything, the more you, you use something, the more familiar with the points you get to line up. There's sort of three points on the stamp. Um, whether I can show you this, I'll try and hold it up. But there's three points. Try and see there, sort of one, two and three are the sort of the points there that I follow. So that one, that one and that one are the three points that help me um line it up so that is that one i'm going to go in now with the next flower which is what i'd call the medium so this was the large flower and now this is the media medium and i'm sort of tilting when i go to stamp i'm sort of tilting the stamp at different angles um to get different sort of angles because flowers obviously don't all come in the same angle so I'm just tilting that and then um, just check which way this goes up not that way I think I was right the first time wasn't I she says oh there we go there so one and then Two. and then I'm going to do my inner at the same time so stamp stamp off and stamp on I kind of try and keep my stamps in pairs so I know which one I'm working with when now I'm going to go in with the um, uh, this one the little one And then again, I'm going to go in with this one. one. That actually comes together really quickly, especially when you get used to where the stamp lines up. I always say, um, I'm going to buy another floral stamp set, but I'm a sucker for a floral stamp set. I really am. Do love a floral stamp. So the colours I've used, I don't know if I've actually remembered to tell you that piece. So we've got pale papaya, fresh freesia, orchid oasis, and then soft succulent, which I'm sure I did tell you that actually. So one. So again, stamping these leaves off. So so they're second generation, really delicate. little bit of greenery. I'm going to give that one to there. So I'm just going to now move this so the inner is complete. I'm just going to set that out of the way. We're then going to add, um, so this so this I'm doing ascending birthday wishes because I always need loads of um, birthday cards but I love this send in smiles because there's literally everything there's a sympathy a just a hello a thanks love and hugs everything so I'm gonna go like I said with birthday wishes I'm just gonna stand up so I can check my I'm straight and I'm gonna pop that there hopefully <laughs> She says, fingers crossed, that is straight. Now, I used the Orchid Oasis um, Metallic Woven Ribbon, which to find my placement, I'm going to just put myself a little piece of um, Seal Plus. And then I'm going to just 
layer that backwards and forwards. I'm just going to sort of sit it there and I'm just going to check. It could probably go a little bit longer. Sometimes I staple this and then sometimes like for this, I actually did staple it on my original card and then it just didn't sit right being stapled for some reason. So I then decided that I would um, use the, the Seal Plus, which is always, always a goodie. So just playing with that there. And the Seal Plus then does give you that little bit of um, maneuverability. Feeling all thing, fingers and thumbs. So I'm just going to now trim that. I'm going to add some dimensionals to this. And I'm using, whoops, oh, I just hit there. I'm using the little mini dimensionals. Um, could have actually cut it with the dimensional sheets, but I didn't think. Silly me. I'll just pop some of these on. Just a few. Oh, nearly forgot. Nearly forgot. I'm just going to move my ink pads out of the way. One little thing I did do on mine. Let me just close these up so I don't have any incidents. Is I just added a little bit of ink splattering with the um light um it is the light marker um light orchid oasis marker so i'm just going to add just a few little splats there i just love that so now just peeling off my dimensionals backs There, pop that on there. I've then used the iridescent rhinestones basic jewels. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Just move, um those out of the way bring my card base back in um i then stuck my card base down flat just always conscious if i'm posting it not to add too much dimension but if you're giving it by hand you could always pop it down on dimensionals um there I love the colours, don't you? The colours I actually chose from um, the papers. I will just show you the suite, just so you know where to find it in the catalogue, if one can locate her catalogue. There we go. And where is my catalogue? Oh, it's here. So it's on page 14 and 15. And yeah, I chose the colours from sort of here. So you've got the, the colours in those papers. But I just, I added pale papaya, um, which was one I just switched out. But there you go. There's my card. Lovely delivery for someone in the new year to brighten up their day. Um, be drab winter here in the UK. So it'll always be nice to send a nice bright cheery card with some flowers on. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial today. I hope you've enjoyed my card and you give it a go. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you can then see when I add more videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.